YouTube has been around for a little bit, and in that time it has morphed and evolved as its creators have throughout these different eras. Very few videos maintain relevance outside of the time it was made. Very few videos are supposed to. Yet, occasionally, there's a video so remarkable, so innovative, so high quality that it transcends its era and time. Yeah, and then there's a tribute to Anomala Karis. Life on Earth has been around for a bit and has been through many eras of mass diversification. None, however, have been as extreme as the first real period of biodiversification, the Cambrian Explosion. Prior to the Cambrian, complex multicellular organisms had just recently evolved, with most of life's history before then being defined by unicellular organisms. Yet, almost inexplicably, in a short 25 million years, this would all change. Suddenly, there were trophic levels, full ecologies of advanced multicellular organisms. There were bottom feeders, filter feeders, predators, and a vast array of other biological niches that originate right here during this explosion. No animal represents this brave new world more than the world's first apex predator, the Anomalocaris. This odd half-meter-long basal arthropod ruled its environment in the same way later apex predators would rule theirs, truly a creature of its time. The Anomalocaris couldn't exist in any other period of time, appearing at the right time where its environment could sustain an apex predator, but was still primitive enough to suit this specific apex predator and the world it lived within. Cool thing about these guys is that, is that they have really, really, really long um, fronts, and that's, that's crazy. Beginning with a dick joke, early YouTube would be a period in online content creation that was unlike anything that came before and what would eventually come from it. There was no real professionalism, there was no analytics maxing metagame, just a group of amateurs wanting to create, to express themselves. Money was gained from either being a top 10 creator or from outside traffic, and as a result, the entirety of the website felt more natural, for lack of a better term. In this primordial soup of video sharing, the niches that would eventually define the website were beginning to take form. Let's plays, commentary, skits, it was all here. What also began to form were communities, niche groups of people joined together to express their love of a subject. Many coalesced around channels, yet many others would remain loose groups of people, partially joined by their collective interests. Early Paleo YouTube was very much like this. There was no large paleontology YouTubers. Yet there was a general trend in content creation across the entire community. At this time, if you made paleontology content on YouTube, it meant one of three things. Either you were ripping documentary footage and uploading it to YouTube, you were making pivot animations, basic 2D animations of a dinosaur or other prehistoric animal beating the shit or getting the shit beat out of it, or you made these. Tribute videos would consist primarily of a collection of images found off Google search, often accompanied by punk, emo, or metal for some reason, that if, if I played any of it here, I'd get a copyright claim faster than you can say Spinosaurus. These were big for the paleontology side of YouTube. <laughs> Hell, even I made a few. Most every decently well-known prehistoric animal had a collection of crudely made, over-embellished, yet somehow really enduring tributes to it. Considering this, it was only a matter of time before the world's first apex predator got its own set of tributes. The Anomalocaris would exist for 21 million years, a long time in comparison to other apex predators, going extinct during the late Cambrian. 
A few million years later, the ecosystem it left behind would soon join it. The late Cambrian would see a number of extinction events leading into the Ordovician, leading to a number of iconic Cambrian organisms seeing a dramatic loss of numbers or a complete extinction. Millions of years later, these odd relics of a bygone era would be unearthed in Wales, to which the period owes its name. In this layer of stone and others like it, namely the Burgess Shale Formation in Canada, Anomala cares and its alien contemporaries would once again see the light of day, no longer as an apex predator, but instead a fascinating look into the genesis of modern life on Earth. YouTube would eventually evolve beyond its primitive early days into what it is today, for better or for worse. On one hand, opening up monetization facilitated better content, transforming the platform from a website to host shoddy home movies to a genuine source of content. On the other hand, however, the old charm of YouTube's amateur past was all but lost to time. What was produced during this era was never really meant to stand the test of time. It was as much a period piece as Titanic, Gone with the Wind, or, well, the Anomaly Caris. Yet, for some inexplicable reason, one obscure slideshow of an odd shrimp did. A tribute to Anomalic Airs would see minor popularity on Tumblr in 2018, yet its true explosion in notoriety would come in 2020, when either from a Reddit post or simply dumb luck, the video had begun its journey on the YouTube algorithm, being recommended to a number of very confused and very amused viewers. What the fuck is an anomaly Karis? Why is Bring Me to Life playing like this is a goddamn AMV? Is this ironic? Who cares? It's funny. This video, without really meaning to, was able to capture a larger trend going on around it, one focused on more and more absurdist humor. There was no structure, no build-up, no punchline, just boom. Big fucking shrimp with evanescence in the background. While having its origins in random Tumblr-esque humor from the 2000s and early 2010s, this new brand of absurdity was and still is able to capture a pretty different feeling. It's as if you're always missing context, like you're outside of the joke because it never really had any context to begin with. The YouTube algorithm and the viewers it brought would have its fun with the Anomaly Caris tribute and would even inspire a few to make their own tributes. So be it a lot less authentic. But they would all eventually move on shortly after its brief rise in popularity finding new things to ironically obsess about, and the video would yet again lie dormant. Being an introverted high schooler with an interest in prehistoric animals, Scorpio Pede would come to YouTube, beginning with a series of very high-quality King Kong spin-offs. Seeing the tributes being posted around YouTube about prehistoric animals, he took it upon himself to make one of his own, a tribute to Anomaly Caris. In this video, despite how basic it is, I can't help but just feel love in it. Love for this weird Cambrian vertebrate that compelled this guy to put together a slideshow. At the end of the day, that's what YouTube is, or rather ought to be. Making shit you love, no matter how it turns out. Because after all, if you were to make a tribute about anything, wouldn't you want it to be about something you love? All right, so like the video's over, but uh, why don't you uh, why don't you subscribe? That'd be pretty cool. Uh, each new subscription, this is true. Each new subscription, I will personally clone an anomaly cares and release it into the wildlife. I have a cloning facility down south. If you want to be responsible for the reintroduction of the Anomalicaris. 
smash that motherfucking subscribe button.